Kadi, gubernatorial level or uh, presidential level or even local government level. They chose for you because you refuse to do anything. And then you begin to complain. You must register. Do I hear it? Eh? Loud and clear. Must vote. Yeah. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah. You must sit down there after you have voted to make sure they count the vote. Yeah. And you take note of what who they say what. It doesn't matter to me who. You must make sure that there is no more rigging in Nigeria. Do I hear yeah, amen? Yeah. I don't care who is your which is your party. I don't care who you vote for. Do your duty. That's all I'm asking you to do. And you must do it. Now, some people now, very funny people, I know they just want to distract my attention. My assignment is to pray. And nobody is going to distract me. And I will pray for this nation. Some of you are here. You remember early this year, I asked for a thousand volunteers who will fast for 72 hours with me to pray for Nigeria. I asked for a thousand volunteers. I got, you are so wonderful people. I got more than 26,000. And we prayed. And whether you believe it or not, God heard. And the answer will come. We will need to pray even more. And I will explain to you in a moment why we need to pray a little more. Because there were some problems that we didn't identify at the time. That have surfaced now. As of now, as I'm standing before you, I still don't know whether or not there will be an election next year. Don't say that Pastor Adebo said there will be no election next year. That's not what I said. What was it I said? Adebo does not know yet. Yet. Oh. Put the word yet. How come you don't know? Because my father hasn't talked to me about it at all. The last time we had an election, he spoke to me about the election by June of the previous year. And this is April. So it's not late. But he hasn't told me yet. He might have told you some of you are prophets. You are closer to him. But is there any one of you here who can raise your hand to heaven and say, without any doubt, there an election in 2023. If you can stand up, stand up and we will plan for a prophet. I don't know yet. Remember to put the word. Yes. <laughs> he said, take no thought about tomorrow. Sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. 2023 is here a long time away. I have a lot of things now occupying my mind for which you, my partners, must join me in prayer. Let me tell you one or two of them. Kaduna. You can't go to Kaduna by road. You can't go to Kaduna by air. They can attack you at the airport. You can't go to Kaduna by train. That brings so my mind. As a man who is a man of prayer. Question number one. Why Kaduna? Question number two, who is trying to isolate Kaduna?
Question number three. Why? Question number four. After Kaduna, which next? Some of you are killing yourself about 2023. Some of you are Christians. You don't even know if the rapture may have come before the end of this year. Can the rapture come before then? We are talking of today now. Kaduna. That's one point, a prayer point for my partners. Take note. Number two. <laughs> it is in the news. And nobody has denied it. That as of now, more than 80% of the oil we are producing is being stolen. You didn't read that in the news. More than 80 percent of all the oil we are producing is being stolen, and nobody had denied it. It came from the government. That leads me to several questions. Number one: Who is the one stealing the oil? Number two: Where is the money going to? of what should have been the income of a nation is going to the hand of some people. That's a lot of money, man. What do they want to do with the money? That's question number three. Question number four. Who are the foreign nations buying this stolen oil? Question number five. How many of these nations of the world are your friends? So you can see the reason why I'm not thinking of uh, 2023. Oh. Maybe that's why God has not spoken to me about that because there is a lot to deal with now. Do I tell you one more thing? It is open secret. It's in the news. On the night, that more than ninety percent of our income, more than ninety percent of the money we get from the leftover of the oil that was uh, stolen, we are using it to pay the interest of the money we have already borrowed. More than ninety percent. This news. Uh, I'm sure you listen to the news. We are borrowing more. Meaning what? According to a friend of mine, we are moving steadily to bankruptcy. The whole nation. My beloved Nigeria is moving steadily towards. <laughs> We are talking of today now. So you can see the reason why somebody like me, I am more concerned about what is happening now than what's going to happen a year from now. So please, all my partners, wake up. We must pray again. We must pray for Katrina. Pray for all the states. Pray for our beloved Nigeria. Pray that the Almighty God, who sees all, will expose those who are stealing our oil. on our nation. He's the Almighty. He can deal with our debt. After all, during the reign of uh, President Robert Sanjo, we became debt-free because the people we hold forgave us. 
that God is here on his throne. If, if that God does not intervene, eh? your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren will still be paying debt. That has to change. And let me now conclude. Because <laughs> I have a lot to say. And so you help me beg all this. Uh,